hello everyone welcome to legal darshan in this video we are going to talk about decree decree is a term that is widely used in civil law while passing the judgments or giving decisions so what is a decree where it is mentioned decree is mentioned in section 2 sub clause 2 of the code of civil procedure 1908 it is defined in the definition section of the code so according to the section the decree means the formal expression of an adjudication which so far as regards the court expressing it conclusively determines the right of the parties with regard to all or any of the matter in controversy in the suit and may be either preliminary or final it shall be deemed to include the rejection of a plaint and determination of any question within sections 47 or section 144 but shall not include any adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from an order or any order of dismissal for default. So this is what is written in section 2 sub clause 2. Now elaborating this section, uh, decree can be explained by its five essential elements. The very first element being that it is a formal expression of an adjudication, meaning there must lie a an adjudication, there must lie a judicial proceeding in the form of a suit. There must be a suit which is adjudicated and the decision will be passed as a decree. Now, what decision will be concluded as a decree? Number first, that it is determining the rights of the party. Then the decree, the decision must be determining the rights of the party. And how? Conclusively. Conclusively is the key word here. The decree, the decision passed must be conclusive in nature regarding to the controversy in the suit. Another important feature of decree is it could be either preliminary or it could be final or it could be partly preliminary, partly final. Now, let us see an instance for to elaborate this topic. Let's say there is a person A and he, he files a suit in district court, let's say Patiala House District Court of Delhi to claim property, claim his property back from B. B has illegally possessed his property the property of a and has carried on a business on it and made out some profits so a is there in the court and a is claiming his rights his uh, property and a has filed a suit claiming his property back and also the compensation out of the profits that me that b has made out of his property so what we are going to find here is how can court pass decree how will it pass a final decree how will it pass a preliminary decree and how it will pass a partly preliminary and a partly final decree so uh, a preliminary decree is not a final decision it is a stage of work now let's say the court there uh, the proceeding held uh, was held uh, on 1st october 2020 and what happened was court said that i can see there is some illegal possession here and i'll assign uh, a person a legal personal to inquire on how much profits has been made by b on a's property now this decree this decree was was an order that uh, he was determining the rights of a and he said that he will direct a team to inquire how much profit did b made from the said property so this was a preliminary decree because he passed it to know how much profits were made so that he can also decide the compensation the suit has not been disposed of this is just an initiation or just a step forward to proceed with the suit so this kind of decree is known as a preliminary decree now let's say the inquiry uh, comes back uh, and inquiry uh, is brought into, into the court the report of the inquiry uh, arrives in the court before the judge on uh, 1st november 2020 so he observed that uh, b has made around 20000 rupees profit uh, being on a's property and now uh, the the judge says that okay uh, b has illegally possessed a's property so he will return the property to a and along with it he will pay 20000 rupees as the compensation also so he has disposed of the case any decree which comes with disposing of the case becomes the final decree the third kind is partly preliminary partly final in this case what happens is there are more than uh, one issues in matter and suppose in this uh, matter there were two issues one is a was claiming his property back another issue was a was also claiming compensation out of the profits made by b so 
let's say the judge said that yes b has illegally possessed the property so b is going to return the property back to a this decree was final it became a conclusive decree when it came to the issue of returning back the property but in the subsequent issue in matter the court orders for an inquiry so that he can decide the amount to be paid back to a in the next proceeding so here he has decided the first issue finally the decree has been passed finally but the second issue is not been disposed of so the suit has not been disposed of hence the second decree is preliminary such as the case of partly preliminary and partly final also when a court orders for the restitution of a decree or it rejects a plaint it is disposing of a suit hence these two cases are also taken under deemed decree but what is not a decree is any adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from an order or any order of dismissal for default usually we get confused between what is an order and what is a default so according to section 2 Subsection 14 an order is any decision that is passed by the court by the civil court which is not a decree we are going to talk about this in our further videos what is an order what is in judgment or what is a decree and further more topics related to decree till then stay tuned with us and if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching